Right now, it's my rare privilege to welcome Pastor Debola Deji Kurumi. Can we please keep clapping, keep making her feel welcome, even as she comes us to be a blessing to us at Blossom 2022. If you know there's still more that the Lord is going to do at Blossom 2022, can you go up with a shout? This time a shout of faith, a shout of victory unto the Lord. Can we go up with a shout? I can't hear you a shout. Hey, so It's coming up, it's coming up. I want you to find yourself a neighbor and say, Congratulations, I heard what God did. Congratulations, I heard what God did. Now, like someone who is holding her testimony, a testimony that is producing testimonies in the lives of others, that people are coming together and saying, Have you heard what the Lord has done for her? If you are that person, let your shout reflect your miracle. Go up to the Lord with a shout. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you with our hearts. You are good. You do mighty things. There's nothing that we have required that you have not supplied in abundance. Faithful is he that has promised and he will bring it to pass. Hallelujah, glory to the Lord. Blessed be God most high. Thank you, Father, you are good. We've seen your hand today. Our rejoicing is exceeding before you. For your word is eternal. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. There's absolutely nothing that we will require for life and for godliness that you have not already supplied in abundance. You blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You caused us to be seated above principalities and powers. You have given us access to the realms of God. You've exalted our horn like that of a unicorn and you have anointed us with fresh oil. You have called us your own. You said we are no longer slaves, but we are your friends. Thank you because you have bestowed on us the gifts of the Spirit. You've taught us the mysteries of the ancient. You've instructed our hearts in righteousness. Have you not seen, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, is the maker of the ends of the earth. He neither faints nor is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength. Though the youths shall fail and the young men shall utterly fall. But those of us who wait upon the Lord, we will mount up with wings as eagles. We will run and we will not be weary. We will walk and we will not faint. Those of us who know our God, we will be strong and we will do great exploits. For the eyes of the Lord roam to and fro the earth, looking for those whose hearts are perfect toward him, that he might show himself strong on their behalf. God is good. He's the giver of grace and glory. He withholds nothing from those who walk uprightly. He's the one who has delivered our eyes from tears our feet from falling and our soul from death. And every time that we gather in his presence, we appear in the spiritual Zion and the heavenly Jerusalem. We come to God, the judge of all, and to Jesus Christ, the mediator of the new covenant. We come to the blood of sprinkling that is better than the blood of Abel's. We, uh, the blood of Abel will come to the spirit of just men made perfect. We come to an innumerable company of angels in festal gathering. 
this is our God and we will ever praise him. He has chosen us. He has preferred us. He has called us by his name. He has robed us in royalty. He's called us a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. He's called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah, he is God. Hallelujah, Faithful God, the Deliverer, the Mighty Man of War, the King of the Ancients, the Only Wise God, Immortal, Invisible, the Counsel Giver, the Source of All Answers, the Helper, the Extraordinary Strategist, the Deliverer and Defender, the one who is constantly with us he is our Rafa, he is our Rafika, he is our Shama, he is our Shalom, he is our Makediskem, he is our El Shaddai, he is our Roy, the one who sees us. We delight ourselves in you, O God. We make ourselves comfortable in your presence. We allow ourselves to enjoy you as you enjoy us. You've called us your own. You've drawn us into the secret place. Those of us who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are faithful. You are kind. You are compassionate. You envisage our needs. You are our Father. You are the leader of the army the God of the ancient armies, our captain, our lawgiver, our judge, our ruler, our way maker. You are the Yah, the one with everlasting strength. You are the way breaker who has gone before us. Delight yourself in your God. He's the God of your destiny. There's nothing that I can say today that is stronger than what God has spoken over you. And so today let us delight ourselves in what Jesus Christ has spoken over us. What Jesus Christ has spoken over us. Thank you, God. from the beginning and you'll be with us until the end take over all parts of my time with your people father take over the words the stirrings the instructions the prophecies the prayers meet us exactly where you will have us be and start with us all over again do with us exactly what is in the heart of the spirit and prepare us for what you have prepared for us. Lord, we give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Please be seated in God's presence.
Praise God. No, is that a blossoming queen's type of hallelujah? Praise the Lord. Like someone who has been greatly blessed, praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. I'm excited to be here. I thank God for the opportunity. I've looked forward to Blossom 2022, and the Lord has brought it to pass. Hallelujah. How many of you are still expectant of what the Lord will do? You are still hungry. You still have space for what the Lord will do. Hallelujah. Say, Father, cause me to receive and to retain revelation knowledge and to release it in the days ahead in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we take a moment to celebrate Pastor Tomi Adesa? Can we do it with a lot of honor? Can we do it better? I can see a sister standing over there. God bless you for understanding the code. Hallelujah. Can you do it better? Can you take a moment to thank God for his vessel and how he has used her to nurture us? And can we pray again over her? Can we declare over Pastor Tomi Adesa, a husband, and the extraordinary team at the prayer, um, praying uh, warrior moms' hubs? Can we just declare over this work that in the name of Jesus, they advance significantly in the path of destiny? That in the name of Jesus, the Lord preserves Pastor Tomi in his purpose, and she continues to do valiantly for the sake of the kingdom of our Father. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'm going to be sharing with you in the short time that I have today from Numbers chapter 27. And I trust the Holy Spirit that he will bring a word to you, a word that will nurture you, strengthen you, and will cause you to move forward in the direction of destiny. Is that your desire and your expectation? I pray from my heart for you that this conference will be recorded in your history as a catalyst for destiny. I declare in the name of Jesus that you would always remember the days, the hours, the moments that you have spent and you will spend at this conference as a trigger point for divine transformation. You know the sinner requires salvation, but the saint requires transformation. What really unlocks the destiny that we have in God, which is in potential form from the day we say yes to Jesus, is that onward path that the Holy Spirit takes us. It's called the path of the just that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. And this was what Apostle Paul was plugged into when he spoke to us in the book of Corinthians. And he started to say, we with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror the glory of God. He said, we are being transformed into the very same image by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are being transformed. Say, I'm being transformed into the very same image by the Spirit of God. So we are on the path of transformation. A saint requires transformation. A saint requires the journey that moves you out of the canal man into the spiritual man. It is possible for a person to be born again, to have received the life of God. And in that instance, their spirit becomes recreated unto God, but their souls are still entrapped in the practices of the flesh. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? And that is why we, uh, we get born again and we require this ongoing renewing of the mind. And that's why scripture was saying to you in Romans chapter 12 that you have to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. Scripture said it is what? It's your reasonable service. It's your reasonable service. And it said, do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it's as we take in the word of God, the engrafted word of God. And that's why Brother James warned us. He said, he said to embrace with humility 
the engrafted word of God that is able to save our souls. Hallelujah. Our spirits become recreated when we say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ, but our souls require ongoing transformation. How many of you, since you've been born again, you've done something that shocked you negatively? You're like, ah, ah. How did I? Okay. Okay. Wow. Ah, ah. So those people in this conference, you've been born again from your mother's womb. And since that time, you and Jesus have been eating in the same plate. You've not you ever felt like there is more for me. Ever felt like there is more for me in God? Hallelujah. Okay, so my sisters and brothers are here because I feel that all the time. So that is just by way of saying I welcome myself in Jesus' name to this conference, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sinner requires salvation, but the saint requires transformation. And that is why we come to conferences. It's why we meet in prayer groups. We can never get tired of it. Don't let anybody sell you an alternative gospel. Till the Lord Jesus comes, we must continue to meet. He said, do not forget the gathering of yourselves, one with another, as has become the culture of some as you see that the day of his coming draws near so don't don't disbelieve what the lord is doing with you when we come to conferences like this he's changing you from inside out say the lord is changing me from inside out i declare in the name of jesus the lord is changing you from inside out i declare the lord is turning your water to wine i declare that you are favored by the living god i declare that the hand of the almighty is upon you i declare that with your eyes you will see with your ears you will hear and with your hands you will handle the manifestation of your intercession every prayer that you have made before god will become realities in your life I declare in the name of Jesus that the greatest asset in your life will be your, 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 will be your relationship with God. It will be the presence of the Holy Spirit. I declare the greatest success in your life will be your spiritual maturity. I, cause, I declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord causes you to advance significantly. He causes you to prosper and to make great progress. This year, 2022, you will record groundbreaking harvest in your spiritual growth. I declare that the spirit of the living God is doing a work on your inside, leading you into fortitude in fasting, protracted periods of praying, steadiness in the study of scripture, and an evangelistic passion for souls. I declare you will mature, you will gain stature, you will gain stamina, you will be stronger in the things of the spirit. You become intimately acquainted with the wisdom of God. You will not be overtaken by sin or by sickness. You will not be overtaken by Satan or by self. You will not be overtaken by the systems of the world. For every one of you called to ministry, I declare in the name of Jesus, whether you are in this auditorium now or you will hear me after now, let there be a dimension of the Spirit of God that causes you to go further into encounters with God. I declare that you will not teach where you have not been. I declare you will not speak concerning a life you do not understand, but you'll be a first recipient of visitations and divine encounters. I declare you'll become God's public address system in your generation. When men look at you, they will see Christ. I declare that you will go further in your relationship with God. I call you into a life of holiness and the spirit of righteousness. I declare that you will win over addictions and the habits of the flesh. I declare you will grow in the things of God. I ask for a baptism of the Holy Spirit that doesn't just cause you to have a revelation in the Word of God, but you will experience materially in your everyday life what it means to walk with the Lord Jesus. I declare you will not only walk for God, you will walk with God. I declare in the name of Jesus, you will walk with God. You will walk prosperously with Jesus Christ. I declare that in the place of worship, he will manifest himself to you. In the place of prayer, you will learn more about him. I declare the Holy Spirit will break down the deep things of God till you fully understand them in simplicity. Your time of study of the word will not be boring. It will not be tiring. I ask for a prayer mantle to rest upon every son and daughter of God listening online or watching watching me in this moment or in the room let a prayer man to rest that which causes a saint to pray without ceasing that which causes you to pray out the intentions of the spirit let it rest upon you i am calling
blessing you in this moment supernaturally as an oracle and a prophet of the living God into a dimension in God where your capacity is enlarged. I declare that your capacity is enlarged. I declare that nothing will make you afraid. Even if previously you have started and fallen, I call you into a dimension of growth that is accelerated. It's a forward motion and you are not coming back again. If you have ever been afraid of this undulating rise and fall relationship with God, I'm here to announce to you a new day. I'm here to announce to you a new season. Go forward, move prosperously, mature in the things of God. I declare that your eyes of understanding are flooded with light and you begin to see who you are in Christ Jesus. For every daughter of destiny listening to me today, I declare that you will be firmly established in an unshakable understanding of your identity. You will really see your spiritual prototype and when you discern the calling of God over your life, you will not doubt yourself because of your background. You will not doubt yourself because of your financial status. You will not doubt yourself because of what people have called you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I call you into emotional miracles and healings of many kinds. If any part of your life has been distorted or dysfunctioned, if there's anything that has troubled your soul, if there have been scandals or, or gossips or painful experiences, if there have been rejections or disappointments, I declare the healing streams of the Spirit. I declare the Son of Righteousness arises with healing in His wings. From 2002, starting this day, you will begin to make giant strides. Declare with me, I am a qualified recipient of quantum leaps. I am a qualified recipient of quantum leaps. I advance significantly. I go forward prosperously and I make giant strides. I leap over walls and I run through barricades. Nothing that I set my heart to according to the will of God will be difficult for me. It is said of me that blessed is she for she believed and there was a performance of those things spoken to her by the mouth of the Lord. My eyes will see it, my ears will hear it, my hands will touch it, and my life will manifest it. Every divine purpose, every divine destiny that has my name on it. God is kind to me. He has shown me great favor. He has encircled me with his incredible compassion. The destiny that I carry will be manifested in grand style. No scheme of man and no power of hell will hijack me from God's mighty hands. I declare that I and the children and the children, children, which the Lord will give to me, whom the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and wonders. I declare that I'm a gatekeeper for the next generation in my family and in my lineage, I declare wholesome lives, trauma-free lives, successful lives, healed lives, abundant lives, prosperous lives in the name of Jesus. This is the beginning of the best of my life. From my mouth to God's ears, it is yes and amen. Can you go up with a shout of hallelujah? This is how we fight our battles. This is how we, gain, uh, how we gain grounds in the spirit. I see you gaining grounds. Hallelujah. If you think that I am sort of prepping up or wasting time, and you are saying, DDK, can you go into the message? This is the message. The Lord sent me, he sent me here just to bless you. My role primarily is to bless you. I'm just here to partner with God and to announce to you the dawning of a new day. I declare it's the dawning of a new day. This is the beginning of the best of your life. The Lord sent me particularly to announce to those of you who have been impregnated with vision. Those of you who have been impregnated with purpose. Those of you who have been impregnated with destiny. And many things have stood in your way. They've said it's not possible for you to accomplish it because of the family you came from, because of your educational qualification, because of how wealthy or not your parents are, because of the mistakes that you've made. 
or even because of how spiritually mature you currently are. But the Lord has said to me to tell you, he's, he posed it to me as a question, and I will pose it to you as a question. Who has seen these things? That a nation should be born in a day. You are carrying a nation that will be born in a day. The Lord has sent me to announce to you the day of the Lord. And in the day of the Lord, the power and the zeal of Christ accomplishes it. I declare that every divine seed that is locked up in the belly of your spirit, every mandate, every calling, every assignment, every destiny, every purpose, that is for the liberty of the nation, Nigeria, the continent, Africa, and the rest of the world. Whatever industry, whether through your career, or business, or ministry, or even as a homemaker, wife, and mother, I declare fulfillment of that destiny. In the name of Jesus, I call you into angelic assistance. Angelic assistance. I declare that your angels are active and they fulfill the assignments God has placed over your life. Warfaring angels, protecting angels, provision angels, warning angels, revelation angels, battle angels, victory angels, announcement angels, wealth angels, supply angels, relational angels. Let them go to work concerning you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare that you operate in royalty. You actually didn't hear me. No, no, you did not hear me. I declare that you operate in royalty. Many of us know the priesthood dimension of our calling in Christ Jesus. But he said to me to tell you, that I am ushering my daughters, both young and old, into a kingly dimension of their calling. The royal dimension of your calling is the dimension of influence and affluence. You are not too young to rule. And if you are here and you can be here, that you can hear these words, I declare according to the time of life and the zeal of the spirit that God positions you for influence and affluence. I declare that you are a deliverer for the continent of Africa. Every vision he has given you for education, for health care, for gender advocacy, economic empowerment, entrepreneurship, waste management, housing, construction, fashion, makeup artistry, ministry, beauty, hospitality, anywhere you have been sent, even if you don't know yet, I declare you are distinguished. In the name of Jesus, let the force of divine favor propel you into opportunities you could have never acquired by yourself. I call you into experiences that are greater than your natural ability. I call you into opportunities that are greater than your connections. I call you into favor that is greater than your beauty. I call you into an advantage that is greater than your finances. The Lord your God will be seen at work in your life. It will be so obvious that men will say, this is God. I can say governmental anointing resting on a number of people in this auditorium. A governmental anointing. I can see God giving you solutions for community development right in that community where you are. I can actually see God giving people 
curriculum that will be adopted. I can actually say Montessori curriculums or curricula that will be adopted by governments so that the next generation can be trained. I would like to specifically pray for those of you who have been sent into education, particularly for young children. I can see a revival breaking out because of a new anointing for educators. Find your way to the front if you have been raised as an educator. Something is about to break loose over the nation Nigeria. Whether you are a teacher, a coach, a mentor, you are an author, particularly for young children. God has given you a mandate. I want you to lift your hands and declare. I can see a revival of educators breaking out over this continent, over this nation. It's going to be a quick walk cut short in righteousness. Mamba Rakosa. I hear the Lord asking you to request for secrets, solutions, skills, strategies, softwares. Secrets, solutions, skills, strategies, softwares. Can you declare that I receive solutions from the throne room of heaven? that will transfer transformational knowledge to those who hear me. When they hear me, their hearts will burn within them. Secrets, receive them. I see secrets. I see secrets. Receive solutions. The Lord said to me very clearly now that a lot of the challenges that we are grappling with as a nation is putting their answers in the hands of education, educators. He said, we will train ourselves out of imprisonment and slavery. Did you hear that? So go up and declare with all your heart, your posture is important. We didn't come here to play. Declare with all your heart, I receive solutions. I receive solutions that bring answers to the crisis in Nigeria. Even in my sleep, the Lord will speak to me and he will show me the way out and the way forward. Receive skills. S-K-I-L-L-S. Receive skills in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you lift your hands very well for me? Let me tell you what I just saw. And everyone in the auditorium, you should do the same. Uh, Leber Yandos, because it's going to be an outbreaking of the creative dimension of God. What I just saw is people that have never painted, but will begin to paint. People who have never drawn will start to draw. People who have never played the keyboard will learn it in hours. I'm talking, that's what I just saw. It's a creative dimension. Hey, I just saw the language dimension. You are going to learn languages in days. Hey, I want you to pray for skills that deliver the future. Let's pray for that. I receive skills and competence that deliver the future in the womb of the spirit. The spirit is contracted to birth the future of our generation. But we must partner with God so that we can carry well. I receive skills for the future. I receive skills. I want you to declare accelerated acquisition of competence. Accelerated acquisition of competence. Thank you, God. Oh, Siba Nem Regadelabaha. The power of the Holy Spirit is going to rest on this auditorium and on God's people in a measure that will awaken the seed on your inside. And some of you are going to live here with a degree of restlessness you have never felt. 
Ah. Receive strategies. Receive strategies. Father, teach me how to go to markets. Father, teach me how to break the barriers in my industry. Father, teach me how to scale the vision. Father, teach me how to position my brand. Father, teach me how to access partnerships. It is by the Spirit that the work He has given us expands into the nations. Sebelos, Shakambarado Seblagaduska, Sakabarabalabahane. How are we going to do that? Sakanda la Baruse Fraga de la Beruske, Sebarianda la Mahande, Lebarada du Zazenda Beria Kubragados. Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord, I see. Thank you, Jesus. Sunday la hash. I'm going to pray very quickly for the educators, teachers, trainers, mentors, coaches, knowledge custodians for our emerging future. And I, because I need you to be back to your seat very quickly. There's an operation that is about to go down. It's going to change your life forever. Give a lot of shout. Hey, hey, hey. A mighty, mighty shout to the living God who's done mighty, mighty, mighty things for us. Hey, something is about to happen. Something very good is about to happen to you. Let me tell you something. Jesus went out in the strength of the Spirit and the city opened up to him. It is not marketing strategy and sales funnels that opens up a city to a man. It is mantles, mandates, and ordinations. That's what we came here for. That's what we came here for. The operation is called the Daughters of Z. Can you say that with me? The Daughters of Z. The code is that there were five daughters of Zelophiha who were denied their inheritance because their father had no sons. They broke past the barriers of culture and the stereotypes of society. And on the day when they were angered enough, the yoke broke off their necks. You may think you have been angry, but today is the day of sufficient vexation. So pele mahandu so Kabara, did you think they were going to give it to us because of finely carved brows and excellent photo shoots and sponsored ads on Facebook? Did you think they were going to give it to us that way? We're in warfare and we know the kind of things that will break out from Blossom 2022. Ten years time, Nigeria will be speaking about it. Ten years time, Africa will be speaking about it. And you are not going to be an onlooker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Where you are, can you just pray a little bit in the Holy Ghost? 
Ikabaria sebele gadosa. Mekrusko forus sapande. Ashka pala gadabarabarus. Cry out. Whatever you want to do in my generation. Father, don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. In the name of Jesus. Iber yanduha. Ebere kons. Mele belele beru subaha. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Marabande Berusa Karias Labragados. Sotela Manahande. Can those of you in front lift your hands? Father, thank you for secret solutions, strategies, skills, and softwares. Thank you for making us custodians of counsel for our generation and the next. Lord, let visit. Ah, what if we coach? Hey, what if we coach? It is called Operation Midnight Secret. I heard it. I heard it. Say I lampano it. Oh, okay. It's like only ten percent are ready. Hey, mokwe elomi le chate elomi bani. I lampano it. To cut a lampano in Hebrew is to lay hold on it and never let it go. Lampano is to lay hold in the spirit. And never let go. Say, I lambano it. I can't even see the action. I lambano it. Hey. That's what the Lord said. That's what he said. That's what he said. Beloved, hear the word of the Lord. I will visit sons and daughters. In the midnight watches, I will uncover mysteries, unfathomable and indiscernible to mortal minds, beyond the strategy of business schools or the articulation of boardrooms. I will uncover the blueprint of the final hour that will deliver the nations and our generation. I will show you the things that your natural understanding could never have shown you. I will teach you, instruct you, and lead you in the way that you will go. In the midnight hour, I will also fulfill the Isaiah operation. I will place clothes of fire upon your tongues and I will purify your words to carry weight and glory. I will allocate honor to your name and I will cause your fame to grow steadily. I will teach you the wisdom of the ancients. If you will meet with me in the midnight watches, consistently over the course of the next nine months I will make one year greater than ten years for you wow I will make nations seek you out says the Lord world leaders 
decision makers, policy formulators, men of means and influence. They will come to you because of the answers I will give to you. I will cover every industry, says the Lord. I will cover every sector. I am recruiting an army of stewards of my truth. And hear what it says to me. I will give you the language of the Chaldeans. What this means is that he will not only give you heavenly mysteries and truths, he will give you context for your industry. Meaning that you can find a secret in Genesis chapter 14 and he will give you a proposal for the hospitality industry from Genesis chapter 14. A proposal for the construction industry from Revelation chapter 12. Do you understand this? Receive the language of the Chaldeans. Receive the language of the Chaldeans. Understand how to convert spiritual revelation and give them executive expressions in policy papers, business proposals, strategic roadmaps, and educational curriculum. He said, through you who are willing, I will teach generations out of enslavement into enthronement. Now receive strength for the midnight hour. Even if you are not an educator, raise your hands now because the Lord is distributing. Father, I receive mine. Receive strength. Receive alertness. And on a select few, I can see an unusual prayer mantle resting. I see it. It looks like a white square handkerchief. And it's falling all around the hall. A new prayer mantle. A new prayer mantle, a new prayer mantle, a new prayer mantle. Watch out, a new prayer mantle. In the name of Jesus, Sokoveria Slebrega de Baruska, Iba Rabalamberia Kubala Maha. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. We're going to do a song just to seal what we have received. That means it is sweet. What God just gave to us is sweet. So the, the choir, the minstrels will give us a song and you dance back to your seat. If you are seated, you will dance because you receive title deed that will be speaking by 2032. You will still be why you my jam do mu do it. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the work of Satan. He has given us victory. Sure That's why we sing, oh say yeah. Have you heard what? He has given us victory. That's why we sing. Oh, say yeah. Oh, say yeah. Oh, say yeah. We know, we know. Oh, say yeah. This is Jesus. Oh, say yeah. Oh, say yeah. Oh, say yeah. This is Jesus. Oh, say yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
is activated by the Holy Spirit and the ministry of angels my work with you today is done and ushers I want you to watch out for your siblings if you can but I don't want you to miss out on your own portion because the power of the Holy Spirit is going to rain down in yet a greater degree than we've already experienced today Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am going to need more of this. Um, um, Holy Spirit will trust you. You have the spirit of order. You are going to help us. You are going to help us. And we are going to need the ushers to guide us in terms of how we are going to do it. We probably would need maybe about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe about ten to twelve of any holders that we can place in the front of rows or columns. Pastor Tommy, do I have your permission now? I would I would have sort of explain it a bit more and you can let us know, you know, if you if you if you think it's okay to do so. But here's what the Lord has uh, requested. And I trust him for how it will be done. We're going to be activating an operation in the spirit as instructed by the spirit of God. That is going to birth liberty. Liberty from yokes. Liberty from burdens. Liberty from generational patterns. Liberty from the sins of fathers. Liberty from opposition. Liberty from patterns of delay. Liberty from patterns of obscurity that has not come from the hand of the Lord. It's an operation of liberty. And 
God's daughters, like the daughters of Zelophehad, will step forward in the spirit and will begin to reclaim lost grounds. There are things that have been yours. Okay, this is the summary. The Lord is going to glorify you with the glory with which you have been glorified from the beginning. Uh, you don't understand it because it is better experienced than explained. But this is the deal. Without an additional effort out of this conference, stepping out of this conference, without necessarily any additional effort, you'll begin to operate in an unprecedented dimension of favor. I'm not joking. I'm telling you the story of my life. It is the way of God. The same people in your neighborhood, in your church, in your office, in your family, who have seen you for 31 years and have never asked you how far, they are going to begin to call you. Expect specifically such things as, how can I help you? Yes. 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 And when the Lord was breaking it down to me, I actually saw a specific dimension. Uh, ministry gifts. Can you raise your hands? Primarily called to ministry. Can you raise your hands? Primarily. Primarily called to ministry. Okay. Now, actively already serving in ministry or leading a ministry. Lift your hands. Oh, yeah, Jack in Giants what they gave me there is going to be in the body of Christ and it's going to be so strong on you as first fruit partakers there's a wave that is coming that this operation will accelerate in your life it is a wave of unprecedented ministry partnership financially and materially what it means is that there are called saints who are in banking that is a mandate they have to express their divine mandate in the financial services sector and God is going to be joker. he will just do like this dump 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 the card joker he will draw lines between people who were not previously connected and they will begin to ask you concerning that conference what's the total budget uh, hey, oh, it's gonna be rose how many of you have a missionary mandate your work is into the villages to reach those who haven't heard of jesus or who need a message of prosperity they need to eat they need to be clothed where are you what i actually saw is you are going to be the earliest partakers of this dimension yes and because i saw what the lord was doing moya gombody i quickly just noted a few persons in ministry who need financial support to scale the work and I made my personal commitments. I want to be a vessel unto honor. You get. And I'm just looking forward to the joy. So just be like, sister so and so. I saw the conference you are planning on Instagram. What's the total budget? Ha! I am going to do it. Uh, you don't know the purpose of prosperity. So that we can be dexterous vessels in the hands of God. So that you can drop the millions and you can just be like peace out stop it that's why it's not for range rover until we have range in the spirits range we don't need to be roving in a rover Selah. hallelujah you know when a king is not on horses in the village when he's walking maybe he's just going around the markets 
you know, the honor of being a king is even more pronounced. Do you know? Everybody is in awe. Oban Boba, Oban Kinyo, Oban Kinyo, Oban Kinyo. Everybody is in awe. It is when we are not established in a sense of our calling, identity, and glory that we need to amass toys to prove a point to a world that is in need of what we carry. Hallelujah. Tiba Gokada, our minister, anointing him at all, I'm not in the business of reputation management. My mentor didn't have a reputation. What am I doing with one? Hallelujah. Selah. That is just, it's not a joke and it's not a digression. Beloved, what is about to happen here is going to open you to affluence and influence. It's not a prayer. But be warned, wealth has a purpose. Wealth has a purpose. Remember, wealth has a purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the anchor scripture we've received. And then I will tell you what the operation looks like. No, you are going to have to stand. Hallelujah. I teach Bible classes where we stand for sometimes three hours. I teach vigils where your eye must not blink. And that's what we need in the final hour. Hallelujah. Don't sit. Don't sit. This beloved sister before you is coming from a vigil. Hallelujah. If you sit, I can personally come and meet you. Amen in Jesus' name. Numbers chapter 27. If you have a Bible, that is going to be a blessing. If it can be projected, that will be a blessing. Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, of Maker, of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these were the names of his daughters. Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Teza. And they stood before Moses, before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders and all the congregation by the doorway of the tabernacle of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, but he was not in the company of those who gathered together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but he died in his own sins, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be removed from among his family because he had no son? Give us a possession amongst our father's brothers. So Moses brought this case before the Lord because up until this time, it had never been done in the tradition of Israel for a priest who died without sons to have their daughters seeking to claim a possession among their, amongst their uncles. Do you understand this? It had never been done. It was a firmly established cultural bias against daughters of fathers who were priests and had no sons. Whatever belonged to them would be passed on to their brothers. If they didn't have brothers, it would be shared among the leaders of their tribes. So Moses took it to the Lord. I want to believe that Moses brought the case before the Lord because of their lineage. That's what I believe. Don't forget, they belonged to the lineage of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. Hallelujah. I believe that is what even gave them a, a foot in the door. And he was astonished by their request. So he brought it before the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, The daughters of Zelophehad speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause, their inherit and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughters. If he has no daughters, then his inheritance can go to his brothers. If he has no brothers, his inheritance can go to his father's brothers and on and on and on. Three things are very astonishing. I will point them out to you quickly. 
because it must shape how we will pray when we begin to pray. The first is that despite the pedigree of the family line that these five daughters or five sisters emerged from, the culture, even the religious order of the day was willing to hijack their inheritance permanently from them. If they, we will not, if they were not going to step forward and fight for what was legitimately theirs by ordination, by identity, by lineage, even though they had forerunners who had gone before them, who had made a name for themselves, their inheritance would still have not manifested. And in the midst of the great things that fathers of the faith have done ahead of us, in the midst of the great things that matriarchs have labored for, interceded for, that we should walk into, if we do not fight for it, we're still not going to enter into it. One of the greatest misconceptions about inheritance is that you simply sit and it falls on your laps. Inheritances have traditionally and culturally been a source of conflict and warfare. Am I correct? It's still the same today. What you have potentially as yours in the spirit must be claimed in the realm that we live in. Hallelujah. Or else many things will be suspended. How many of you have walked under a suspended cloud of prophecy? They've said so much. Prophecies have gone ahead of you. But it just looks like nothing around you is aligning to what you've been told. How many people have been there? Because it, because it is not God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. It doesn't settle it. God said it, I believe it, I weaponize it, I stay there, I fight for it, I give thanks for it, I sow seeds to it, till my eyes see it and my hands touch it, and then it settles it. Have you noticed how generations and the destiny of a whole lineage can dangle on the altar of just one praying woman? Have you noticed? If they weren't going to fight for it, even though they came from a powerful lineage, it wasn't going to be given to them. A second very phenomenal thing. When Moses took the request to God, what did God say? What did he say? That they were right. But why didn't God tell Moses to give the daughters of Zelophehad what belonged to them before they asked? I don't know, you guys, it's like I'm on maturity in you deep because me, I'm baffled. But I can see that you are taking it in, you know, you are taking it in your strides. Personally, it baffles me. He's a just God. He saw the daughters of Zelophehad suffering in the ab absence of the inheritance that was rightfully theirs. Maybe living in hurts. Maybe living at the edges of the outskirts of the town. Unable to possess the homes that legitimately, the landed property that belonged to them because they didn't ask. Hand to mouth life in the presence of a reserve. Why didn't God, I don't know, I, I mean, the women of God are here, maybe they have the answers for me. Why didn't God have a conversation with, with Moses who was conversing with him all the time? Why didn't he say, daughters of Zelophehad are deserving of this, hand it to them. There are things that are yours, that you own, but you will never possess until you step forward and say, we are ready. And that's what today is about. Number three, after the daughters of Zelophehad stood up to request what was theirs, what did you notice happened? The protocol was broken and a new policy was reinforced because of them. When you stand and you fight and you partner with God, you are not just seeking your own liberty and the fulfillment of the destiny you carry. You are setting a generation free. And that's what today is about. 
what the Lord has said to me to place on you and to partner with him to see birthed in this meeting as the operation of the daughters of Zelophehad. As we go to the place of prayer, we're going to place oil and it's just symbolic. There's no power in the oil. It's power in the spirit, but it's symbolic. And even if your hands don't touch the oil, you'll go ahead and pray with me as I lead you to pray. And you place your hands on your legs. You're going to place your two hands on your legs. Right? And what the Lord has promised us, what he has boldly declared to us, is that there is going to be territorial influence. As your feet step out of Blossom 2020 and they step into sectors, they step into industries, they step into geographies, you are going to possess them as an inheritance. What has been yours and has been held back is now going to be freely released because of this operation. And the power of the Holy Spirit is going to invade your life, your work, your ministry, your business so much that the things you thought were natural processes before success comes to you will be clear as distractions and oppositions that were standing in your way. Some of us, in the name of process, we have elongated experiences beyond God's permission. And all the while you thought, I'm on my process. Anyone ever said that? I'm going through the process. And it's a, it's a conversation for another day. But we're going to go up praying in the spirit. And we'll be done with this in about 10 minutes. We'll pray in the spirit. And we'll have the minstrels just quietly leading us to worship. And I want you to release your faith. I'm going to be praying over the oil in a short moment and they're going to be set in front of columns and you can make your way, just touch on it and place your hands on your feet and we pray along declaring as he has promised, yokes be broken, generational patterns be broken, the sins of the fathers be broken, the obstacles and oppositions be broken and God is going to make your feet like the hinds feet and you are going to write upon your high places how many of you are ready for speed in the spirit Abaria sapa peleberian donia selegadosa Kambara balabara gadala baha Lord Almighty, we act in obedience to the instructions that you have given, O God. And thank you because this moment bears a semblance to the operation of the daughters of Zelophehad. And as you cause your daughters to rise today beyond social stereotypes, parental limitations, generational patterns, fears that they have carried, identity distortions. Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit invade this atmosphere much more and as we go in the place of prayer the holy spirit gives us victories in warfare and that which we declare will birth the liberty of every single destiny whether in this auditorium or listening online or will listen subsequently i stand in my placement as a prophet of the living god and i declare that protocols are broken Stereotypes are broken, barriers are broken, cultural limitations are broken, generational patterns are broken, curses are broken, and this is a new beginning. I declare that you blossom, you arise and shine, and you gain speed in the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, 
the, uh, the, the ministers are going to carry the, you know, uh, the oil and place it in front of you. I want you to go up praying before the Lord, declaring that it's time for liberty. It's time for liberty. You are the one that the Son of God has set free, and you are free indeed. Masi barakandele beragado sa talaman maha bragadala basa balabaraba ke bragados se fregadeli barusa tanda. Are we ready to take the oil? And please let's place them just all around the, the hall. And if you can, find your way and make a touch on it. And place it over your feet. Even if you don't touch the oil, go ahead and place your hands on your feet. And that's what we're going to declare. In the name of Jesus, the hour of the daughters of Zelophehad. You can't be an onlooker. This is not the time and this is not the place. Rabba da melo kizabande. Eplega de berusu telemandaha. Raskado so bada da da baruske. In la baraba la bregadosa. Leboros ko vaza zalo de bahande. Lekato so beregados. Mekros ko ferredosa baha. Le baraba la bregadene maso kanda baha. Rabba baba la baraba la baha. I want you to pray for your liberty. Pray for your family. You are going to be a gatekeeper for your own generation. Iabalama soberegados, meskepela gada bahasa, agragados lekaso panda baha, masanda lekosa. Every hindrance on your way, every limitation that has stood against you up until now, they are giving way. They are giving way. They are giving way. Declare the battle is won. The battle is won. In the name of Jesus. Sabala barabalo. Meka barabala breka de la barusi and de la bos. Shakata na 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 nos. Irabada bala breka de la basota. Se breka dos. Sabala barianda maha. E masatala mana mahande, ila cross ko boro do dosa. I want you to cry out for speed, cry out for speed. Wherever the sole of your feet touches, wherever the sole of your feet touches, wherever the sole of your feet touches, I declare move forward. I declare move forward. Take that which is yours. Receive that which is yours. Receive that which is yours. In the name of Jesus. Father, I present this generation to you. I present this generation to you. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your marriage. In the name of Jesus. Legislate in the spirit. It's a new beginning.
Sambalaha, right where you are, where you are seated, begin to declare in the name of Jesus, I'm a gatekeeper for my generation. I declare new beginnings. I declare a new season. I declare the doors are open, the yokes are broken. Every trauma and pain transferred from the former generation to me. I receive my liberty in the name of Jesus. Declare the gates of cities are open. The gates of territories are open. The gates of cities are open. Prison doors are flinging open. Cry out for healing. Declare in the name of Jesus, I walk in healing and emotional miracles. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare that I walk in clarity in the spirit. Everything that is in the heart of the spirit for me to experience this year, this decade, let it enter my heart. Pray for revelation knowledge. Cry out for revelation knowledge. Declare in the name of Jesus for a leadership anointing to rest upon you more than ever before. Cry out in the name of Jesus that the gates of cities are open. Pray for your children, born and unborn. Declare a generational blessing. A generational blessing. Every transference of trauma. Every transference of drama. Every transference of curses. Every transference of pain. Every transference of addiction. They are broken. They are broken. I want you to pray for the door opener anointing. Hey! The scripture describes God in the book of Micah as the one that opens the way. And he said to me, I will appear unto my sons and daughters as the way opener. Declare, Father, open the way for me. You are my way opener. You are my way maker. Cry out, Father, open the way for me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Right now, pray for a new level of authority. That, Father, I walk in the consecration and the obedience that produces a new level of authority in the spirit. I will not give in to seductions and lies. I will not give in to carnality. I will not give in to sin and the works of the flesh. I walk in the spirit. I will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I mature in the things of God. Receive that prayer mantle now. Receive a burden for prayer. Receive longevity in the place of intercession. Receive capacity building in the Holy Ghost. Receive the announcement. I hear divine announcement. I hear divine announcement. Ministry gifts receive unprecedented partnerships from all around the world so that you can go further with the work of ministry. Now pray for your marriage. Whether you are married or not, Declare that the one I am joined with, it is unto life and unto death. The one that the Lord has given to me, no matter how imperfect your marriage, God is ready to do a new thing. My marriage is unto life. It's not unto death. It's not unto loss. It's not unto generational causes. No. Receive a new name which the mouth of the Lord has mentioned. Receive a new name 